Once again, it's Take and Astronomer. Happy to apply this in our galaxy. Subscribe to the channel Take and Astronomer so that you don't miss. The concept super habitable came from the two researchers in 2014. Rain Heller and John Armstrong have stated that for a planet to be habitable, it has to be in a habitable zone. That means it will make a planet more suitable for life as we know it, meaning could be old, large, warmer, wetter, could have high levels of oxygen and a long living star. John Armstrong proposed that the required size of a super ass have to be two earth masses because radioactive decay in a planet interior would last longer to provide heat and strong gravity would hold on to atmosphere long. These 24 super habitable exoplanets were chosen because they have a star of light size, lifespan and lie in habitable zone. Many of these orbit around jet dwarf stars similar to our sun. Researchers also look for exoplanets orbiting around K stars or range dwarf stars that are cooler, less massive less luminous and 50% more range dwarf in the Milky Way. Orange dwarf stars have advantage more than our sun yellow dwarf of 17 billion to 70 billion years compared to 10 billion years of our sun. If life starts on a planet orbiting K star would have much more time to evolve the life of our sun so far. Considering the life, a larger exoplanet would mean more space for land mass and habitable. These super habitable worlds would also have a high gravity and thick atmosphere allowing the organism to travel through the earth spreading life. Planetary science say the six spotted for a super habitable exoplanet is about five to eight billion years. Of course for a super habitable planet we would need water to allow the life to survive. Planets with more moisture and average surface temperature of 8 degrees Fahrenheit warmth than us would make them more habitable since when they stand. They, this is more diversity of the life in warmer and wetter climates. climate. Some of these habitable plants could resemble the earth in the early carbon fuel period of 6.5 to 